Hello guys, this is Amos Stoll Music and in today's lesson I will teach you how to easily count all the different note types and how it is represented in sheet music form as you can see right here. It's actually as easy as Hangman and the reason why I'm saying Hangman you'll find out right now. Okay, so firstly we have the whole note also known as the semi-brief. Okay, it kind of looks like an open circle like this as you can see here. Okay, and the reason why it is called a whole note is simply because in the most basic time signature of 4-4, four, four, this type of note fills up the whole and entire bar, as you can see right here, it's just bracketed between these two bars, okay, meaning it is worth four counts in 4-4, four, four. all right, so if we quickly go here and play it, you can hear it is counted a four count, check it out, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There you go, here it is held for four counts, simply just like that. Okay, so now let's move on to the next. We have the half note, also known as the minimum. Okay, so the minimum, let me see, all right, there we go. Okay, as you can see here, it is just the open circle, but we also add an extra stem onto it, just like that. Okay, and the reason why it is called a half note and yes, I'm pretty sure some of you might have guessed it. One of these notes fill up half of the bar, meaning it is worth two counts. So in terms of this 4-4 four, four time signature, uh, we would actually require two of these minims to make up the whole bar. As you can see here, we can't add any more. Okay, so as we go ahead and play back from the start, you can hear uh, how it's done. Okay, so this is four counts. One, two, three, and this is two each one three four like that okay just like that or else you can also count one two one two depending on how you like to count and add up the amount of like notes for each bar okay so yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next notes type which is the quarter note all right so the quarter notes this is also known as a crotchet and this time it is similar to the minimum uh, is the colored in black circle though okay so it's like the same as the minimum but we color in the black circle in the middle okay and it also has a stem just like that okay and following the previous patterns four quarter notes make up an entire bar like this okay there we go we can't add any more just like that and yeah uh, and that just literally means uh, in terms of the four four time signature that we see here each crotchet is worth one count each so uh, you can count it as one, two, three, four, or you can count it as one, 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 one. But probably one, two, three, four is better. Okay. So if you listen back to the start, we have the four resting counts of so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, just like that. Okay. So there we have the three most simple types but now let's keep on going okay because there are more note types and it's just like literally doing hangman you can see why i'm saying is hangman so we have a circle and then we have a circle we add a tail and then we have the same circle with a tail but we color in the middle and then the next note is also something to add on to okay so the next note type okay we just finished the quarter note so uh, if we do some mathematics, then we know that the next one is called an eighth note. And this is also known as the quaver, okay? So, just like, as we said, Hangman, it looks like the previous crotchet note, but we have this interesting kind of a curvy, fancy tail at the end of the stem, just like that, okay? And following, uh, once again, to the previous pattern, eight of these quavers one two three four five six seven eight we can't add any more yep so eight of these quavers make up one full bar in terms of this four four time signature okay so meaning each quaver is worth half a count okay so you might be asking how do you actually count half a count okay it's actually like pretty simple in music the way we do it is uh, a few ways like uh, i teach like a few ways but most of the people they do one and two and three and four and okay so the and is like okay so this is the main counts so one and then it goes and uh, two and three and four and like that okay or else uh, i also teach like to subdivide the counts so it's like one two 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 three two four two like that okay so yeah it's up to you 
so both is okay so one and two and three and four and or you can do one two 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 three two four two like that okay so let's go ahead and check it out one more time so start from the empty bar one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one and two and three and four and like that there we go all right so yeah now um you pretty much got the pattern it's like uh playing with this like interesting kind of like uh hangman okay also as you can notice okay uh like one by itself we delete it it's like this tail but if we add like another note to it it kind of connects all the tails together like that okay so that's just one thing to remember if you see like connected like a beam and you'd be like huh i remember quaver is being having like a tail okay it's still a quaver but it's just connecting like together a few quavers would make a beam like that okay anyways let's go ahead and move on okay so you can keep on adding more and more tails to the notes to keep on halving the value of the notes okay so let's just do it one more time for this lesson and show you the 16th note because we just finished the quaver which is the eighth note so now we halve it again so half of that is 16th okay so 16th note and this is also known as the semi quaver so like just <laughs> in terms of the word we kind of added extra like start to it so semi quaver okay so okay once again using the same pattern that we learned before we know that 16 of this so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 woo, so many <laughs> okay so 16 of these semi quavers make up one full bar in terms of this 4 4 time signature meaning each quaver is worth a quarter of a count okay so this is kind of getting more and more complicated you're like how do we count this okay so uh, there's two ways once again it's either uh, the, uh, most people teach uh is the one e and a uh, so you use e and a uh, for like these so e and a uh, where the main count is like uh just the represented in the numbers so one e and a uh, two e and a uh, three e and a uh, four e and a uh, like that or you can also do how i sometimes teach it's a subdivision of counts so one two three four two two three four three two three four four two three four so you can also do it like that as well okay it's up to you okay so yeah go ahead uh actually let's do one more <laughs> okay so i'll just put it in and then uh yeah this is yeah this is interesting it's demi semi quaver okay so it's another tail so once again as i said we're playing hangman we added another tail to it okay as you can see like once we add more it connects the tails together and makes it like a beam as we said before okay so so many of these notes all right there we go okay we actually can't fit it all in here we've got to zoom out a little bit all right there we go all right so let's go ahead and just quickly show you how it goes okay so uh, i just quickly put in all these notes and now you can go ahead right now and kind of like pause and repeat this specific part of the video and practice how to identify and count all of these back to back okay and in fact i also quickly add repeats so this in the repeat signs okay let's go ahead and play this part of the video all right <laughs> so this particular part the hemi i mean the demi semi quaver part really difficult to count <laughs> you literally have to be like <laughs> you can't even like say it in time but anyways it's the idea of it that you have to understand okay so it's like the halving of each note type okay but yeah that's pretty much it if you want to learn more piano from me you can check out my website bestpianomethod.com for many different in-depth piano and music courses for all different types of levels as for now enjoy your time around my channel and see you 
next time. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime and cartoon theme songs and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.